Here we can see a VPLEX metro configuration. And if we examine the virtual volume, one of the volume we can see is VPLEX underscore DS10 volume. And now we're going to double click it and see the new UI that we can see from VPLEX 5.5. We can see that this configure as a thing, which is a prerequisite for unmap. Now let's go to the ES6 server and run the ES6 CLI command that can tell us which volume are we going to then use to run unmap on. So we're going to run the VMFS extent list volume. And here we can see the VPLEX data store VMFS name correlating itself with an NNA ID, which we are going to use later on. Now let's run another ES6 CLI command that can tell us what are the core devices that we can see here on this specific NAA volume. And here we can see many things that the ES6 server tells us that this volume support, for example, thing provisioning and VAI that is now fully supported by the ES6 server. Lastly, we're going to run another ES6 CLI command that can tell us what are the exact core features that the ES6 server can actually see from that VPLEX volume that is hosted on Extreme.io. VI itself is a family of primitives and now we can see which specific ones are actually supported. So we're going to take the NAA ID that we found before and put it back into the command. And again, we can see that thing volume is fully supported and more importantly the delete status which is unmap in our case is also fully supported and that wasn't in earlier versions of vplex now let's go back to the first extreme ira remember we are using vplex metro so the volume is being mirrored using vplex to another extreme ira the remote site the volume that we are going to run unmap is unmap underscore c1 and we can see that roughly 21 gig uh, of capacity are being in used we can also correlate this with the other extreme IO, the remote site, and we can see the exact same capacity is being used there. It's not surprising, that's because we are using VPLEX Metro and everything is being mirrored across the two sites in a truly active, active fashion, one of the benefits of VPLEX. And now let's go to the vSphere web client. And what we are going to do is actually storage vMotion, migrate the data of the VM, of a VM from the data store to another VM, which is one of those use cases where Unmap is actually needed. Because despite the fact that you move the VM with its data, the original data still occupying the capacity on the thinly provisioned data store, and hence the reason to run space reclamation, also known as Unmap. So we're going to right click the VM, migrate, going to migrate only its storage, so change storage only. Next, we're going to select another data store to migrate that VM to. So again, selecting the data store, press next, and that's about it. So now the VM is being migrated to another data store. Okay, the VM is fully been migrated. And now we can go back to the volume and see that uh, there is no capacity that is being consumed at the volume from a logical perspective, meaning vSphere thinks that the data store is empty, but that's because vSphere doesn't have any information about unmap. So I think the capacity is actually released, which is, is from a logical perspective at the vSphere volume. And also if you go back to the extreme IRA, we can see that despite the fact that we move the VM, the capacity that that VM consumes still exists, still resides and still being occupied. That holds true for the source and the remote extreme IRAs can evidently be seen here. So now what we're going to do is actually run the unmap command itself. ES6 CLI, storage, VMFS, unmap, minus L, the name of the data store that we are going to run unmap on. And that's about it. So now let's go back to the extreme IRAs and we can slowly see that the capacity of that volume is slowly shrinking to almost zero, zero megabytes that are being used. And that holds true for both the source and also the remote extreme IRA that we are now going to look at. So that's exactly the same. Here we can see the remote volume and the remote extreme IRA. 
past is slowly shrinking. There you go, around 7 meg, which are really just the metadata of the volume itself, that's not true capacity that is being in use, and that's again back at the source volume as well. So that was it. Thank you very much.